Hey everyone, this is Matt in the Black Hat. And Game Collector. And we're here for Back to the Future, the game. It's a point and click adventure, like Monkey Island. Yes, only it is. In three, only in 3D. I think it's even made by the same... No, it's not made by the same people that made Monkey Island. It's... No, that, that would be Lucas... Lucas Arts. This this is Telltale's. Telltale Games, good studio. I like them. All right, I'm I like ready. Them a lot. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26, 1985, 118 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, Einy. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, Jack Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. It's great that they got the original actors. Oh, yeah. So I got that thing hooked right. up to the car. Although I don't watch think they this. actually got Michael J. Fox yeah, okay. to play, you know, got Michael it. J. Fox. They got a similar sounding voice actor. Because I think he actually aged out of the it. The car! The car! Oh no, wait! He does actually have a yes, role in this does. game. Yes, he does. He does have a role, it's just not as, uh, not as the main character. If my calculations well, are I'm correct, it up. when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, he plays you're gonna see some serious not shit. Marty McFly. Watch this, watch this! <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell you? 88 miles per hour! The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Me? Hot Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, Doc, you disintegrated Einstein! Calm down, Marty! I didn't disintegrate anything! The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact! Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler! <clears throat> I sent him into it's the not future! Michael J. Fox, you were right. One minute okay. into the future, to be exact, and at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. And yes, I remember the lines. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, <laughs> the stainless steel construction made the flush dispersal. Look out! Something went wrong. Uh, Doc? Oh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, wh what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. And now we actually have control over him, and you can move him with the WASD keys. Although he'll automatically follow where the cursor goes if, you, nope. if there's nope. something nope. interesting nearby. Got it. So you can point and click where you can WASD. That's Pretty it! Much. What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention! The thing that makes time travel possible! In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic! Let's see. It's mass equals high times z, and e equals the square root of z times c squared, and the flux dispersed. That uh, something's way off here. Doc? 
Good Scott. By the way, that mall actually exists. Duck, what is it? I've made a horrible mistake. Duck! No! I'm sorry, Marty. Duck, come back! Duck! Okay! You were sleeping. Marty, in those clothes, is everything okay? Oh, it is a video. Yeah, game. mom. I it was it was just a nightmare. Button uh, up. I was in the past. And long sleeve. Doc was and there. The well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. I just noticed the weird science poster in the back. Yeah. <laughs> back to the future of the game. The one that doesn't suck. The only one that doesn't suck. Unless you count that Japanese one we didn't ever get, ever. Yeah. Yes, this is my computer working slowly. It's not up to spec anymore. Sadly. No, it's not. As for Marty's voice actor, it's AJ Locasio. L O C A S C I O. Yep. He had to do all of the original lines. And, and do them the exact same way Michael J. Fox did them originally. And he does an impressive Michael J. Fox impersonation. Yeah. Probably why he was hired. The consensus among critics is that the voice acting was exceptional with particular praise directed at AJ's impersonation of Michael J. Fox's Marty McFly. Yeah, you'll you'll hear Mark. You'll hear uh, Michael J. Fox in one of the later videos. His voice is much more distinctive. Yes. Yes, he is. <coughs> He's easy to tell apart. Well, Dad, are we too late to stop the sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right now, to... Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and... Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty! Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had Back any buried treasure. Wow. Another classic. Yeah, I guess from I'm movies. just remembering. The old dog feeder. Hey, let me now, Biff, leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. Sorry, Marty. Dwarf. Thunk. Aww. And it goes right there for the next can. I miss Einstein. Goggy. A fish tank? I never knew Doc raised fish. Doc's fish had weird taste and decor. I kind of like Doc. I wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. Nature contrive it so that even with a time machine, you can intervene to prevent your own conception, for example. <laughs> he knows that one personally. Yep. Hmm. 
That is a giant speaker. We're going to be doing something with that in a little bit. Oh, yes. And it will feel good. Oh, yes. And it's actually a callback to the movies. <laughs> yeah. Actually, everything in here is a callback to the back movies. Back to the movies. Doc built this model of downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, I can, yeah, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Can I see that model courthouse for just a second? I need to get something out of it. Like what? A not guilty verdict? Ah. That was a joke. Oh, ha. But really, can I? No, nah, I think I'll hold on to it. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me Brown's to... Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Ah! Feels like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, I guess it was. <laughs> hey, let me try, Marty. Now, Biff, let Marty have his turn. That's one you way to solve it. You got it, Mr. McFly. But not nearly as satisfying. Nope. Anytime Marty actually looks at the model, is a clue on how you can defeat Biff. Hey, Dad, wh why is my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. And you carry that guitar with you for the rest of the hey, entire Dad. gang. In pockets of infinite depth. Mm-hmm. About Biff, Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle it. So can I. <laughs> yep. I guess you can. Yep. Okay, son, oh, I'll stay out God. of your way. But you know where to find me. And... Who's running this sale yeah. anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly! Oh, that's kind of nice of him, sort of. Yeah, it is, actually. George McFly is not that bad a guy. Especially now that he's I'll got keep a looking around. Thanks, Dad. Yep. Okay. Picked up Marty's guitar. Left click on the blinking inventory button to open your inventory. As soon as my computer will let me. Yep. This is what it's like to have a dying computer, folks. I know that feeling, too. Of course, mine just is dying from old age, not problems. Not, yeah, temperature overexposure. Click on use item, Marty's guitar. Use with amplifier. Uh-huh. And cutscene loading. And cutscene loading. Yes. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Ding. Let me show you how it's done. Well, it's one for the monkey, two for the snow, three to get ready now. Go, Scott, go. Wow. That was awful. Let's teach him a lesson on how to make some noise. <laughs> Let's make some noise. 
Speaking of, <laughs> so appropriate that Sean's playing evil genius. And now, <laughs> something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. This is where George would intervene if you hadn't told him to not do that. Chat scene loading. Loading. Do 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 Overdrive. <laughs> now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. <laughs> oh, call back to the first one. I can, Biff. <laughs> oh, shit. That was very satisfying. Oh, yes. Ah, Doc, where are you? <laughs> and are you the only one to notice this? Actually, George has noticed it before, but he just kind of... He kind of blows it off as not his problem. Ah. Note that the car is incredibly cold. That tells you something about time travel, doesn't it? Yeah. Loading. In time travel, no one, nothing can keep you warm, except the DeLorean. Well, it's like it's been Doc? exposed to absolute zero. That too. Almost like it's been in space. Space. Where do you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? At least the interior's warm. Yeah. Chilled eyes from light. The flux capacitor. <laughs> Hello, shoe. A shoe? Okay, Before Doc, I shoe. know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Handheld tape recorder. Maybe you should try listening to it. Well, when the game lets you. Yep. Marty? Ah! Marty, if you're hearing this recording, then the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I program the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now. Or then. Or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you come to my rescue in the past. Or was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please, take the DeLorean back, or, or forward, to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Now, aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark, Last Time Departed. Good luck. Right, right, Last Time Departed, Last Time Departed, uh... Oh, jeez. Oh, come course. on, come time on. Time around the fridge. On. Crap! Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? That's about as predictable as the TARDIS taking the doctor where he doesn't want to go. It's my theory that the DeLorean is a I can use those to enter TARDIS. a date into the time circuits. Well, once I know when to look for Doc. They... There's an... In, I, I, I'll have to explain it's that like the time the circuits still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. Notice that you're not supposed to look directly into the flux capacitor. Yeah. 
it's apparently incredibly dangerous to do so. Like looking at a plasma torch. Or perhaps the core of a of a of a certain blue police box. Well, there's a reason for that one. That's because the TARDIS is indeed a living thing. Yeah? What makes you think the DeLorean isn't? This time traveling shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. Well, maybe I'll give you that. It's like a baby TARDIS. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a... <laughs> well, it definitely doesn't have a chameleon circuit, but... It certainly isn't bigger on the inside, either. No. What do you know about this, Shuiny? But it does have capabilities beyond that of a normal right, Scott. DeLorean. I think he's onto yeah. something. Even not even discounting the time machine itself. And the future add-ons from 2015. Which probably won't actually exist in this world. No, that's the DeLorean from 2015. Didn't you notice the Mr. Fusion on the back? Um... Uh... No, I didn't actually, but I was talking about we will never have flying cars in the year 2015. Get over it, people. Oh, yeah, the... Yeah, it's impractical. With current technology. You know what else took place in 2015? Star Wars Episode 7. Well, I meant fictional, but... Yes, that too. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einie? Remember in uh, first Back to the Future movie in 20... No, it was second Back to the Future movie, so you haven't actually seen that. But in the second Back to the Future movie, there was a scene where you could see the... Step away from the door! I had no... Now, let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on! Just as I suspected. Hooligans! Get along now! Scat! Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. Anyways, there's a movie theater in the second movie that shows Star Wars Episode 7 by Disney in 2015. That's creepy as fuck. A shoe? Wow, now what would I want with a... Yeah. <gasps> Stay there! Well, I didn't mean... I meant another franchise that takes place in 2015. And it involves giant, not quite so... robotic robots. And probably the end of humanity. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that. Leave that creature outside! Sorry, Einstein. Yeah, we don't have nearly enough crazy fundamentalists for that to happen. Thank God. Thank something. <laughs> Thank things! I love the um, flux capacitor waiting logo they've got. The load, the load thing for the flux, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is probably one of the longer load wait times. Yeah, this used to be pretty quick. And if I run it without running my recording software, it's a bit faster and smoother. Not by much, but a bit. Anyway, uh, Michael J. Fox appears as William McFly and Future Marty. Which makes sense, because now he's actually old enough to portray Future Marty. Yeah. And no spoilers on that, please. I... I've only, I have seen parts of the second movie with Future Marty. I don't have this game. I've never played this game. But... <laughs>
He doesn't look anything like future Marty. He still looks like... He still looks like... Marty from the 80s a bit. Well, took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Mm, much better. So neat and orderly. Nah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. But... I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Isn't that the same thing as jumping to conclusions? Uh, Have a seat, mm -hmm. Sonny. Yes, it is. Hey! You kids! Put out those cigarettes! Well, there's another load thing stuck on. Mm-hmm. By the way, Edna Strickland, we're going to be seeing a lot of her throughout this series. Oh, joy. Yes, she is one of the antagonists. Pro or N is really up to you. Do-do-do-do-do. How long does this take? Long enough to go get a sandwich, but I'm not going to go do that right now. Oh. Uh, hopefully my next recording session will be better. Yeah, and you'll have edited all of this crap out if it happens like that again. I don't know. The music would skip. Yeah, it would. That's... That's why I decided not to edit it out on this one. There we go. Well, that took a while. That only took 30 seconds. I was trying to get film for Ghostbusters, and it was acting even worse. Oh, the candy looks older than I am. Hard candy. It never ages. Man, she keeps it hot in here. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch anything. She didn't turn the stove on. Yeah, that's why you have to do that. To yep. get her to leave the room. And now... Let's go look at the stack of newspapers. Juveniles collide with manure truck. <laughs> <laughs> nice picture. <laughs> uh, reference to the first movie. Yes. Brown Mansion destroyed. 1962. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. No, it's not. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Okay. Binoculars, also important. Hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. Man, these are powerful. I could see Biff going into the video store. Yeah. Clue. You wouldn't believe the filth that boy watches. Yeah, he's nothing but an out-of-control hedonist. Just like his father. Also a clue. If there's a clue to find a doc out there, I'm not seeing it. I don't even know where to start looking. Now we need to talk to Edna. Oh, joy. Einstein brought me that shoe from the past. But when in the past? What I'd like to know is when in the continuity this game takes place. Um, post-third movie. Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree! Didn't the DeLorean yes. get blown up? Yes, it did. 
Do you remember when you lost questions. your shoe? Yes, shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! Huh. Hi, what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. But... Oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh... Yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. Oh, when was it? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. <laughs> a speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. <laughs> Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded! What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive! I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published! Get out! She's every certainly every not single a issue. And that's not From a fire hazard! 1871 to the present! If it happened in Hill Valley... You'll find it in my stacks. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. Yeah, I probably wrote it myself. <laughs> I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. She's a real joy to be around, ain't she? Hmm. Yeah. Don't let me keep you from your business. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! We can't go through the stacks with her in the room. Because she'll get upset if we try. Big surprise there. There's the whistle! Surely the water's boiling by now! Firm announces plans for Lone Pine Mall. Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. Alright, Einstein brought me this shoe. And Miss Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy burned down. But when did the speakeasy burn down? I at least need to know the year. Bring her back? Yeah, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. Hey, there's Jennifer's mom coming out of the market. Mrs. Parker? I find it curious that she always uses the same strapping red-headed bag boy. Don't you? I wish I knew which one used to be a speakeasy. Now we talk to Edna. Excuse me, Miss Strickland. Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch. No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt Fanny! Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe things about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. Following year, as I recall. Doing some stargazing? No, oh, I set my sights on the <laughs> lower things. Is that? Tim Tannen! Get away from that hubcap before I call your father! 
What's she gonna call him? Okay. Don't let me keep you from your business. Now we need to use the binoculars. Mind if I take a look? Go ahead, dear. This was his porn. Yep. And the year. In February 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. <laughs> yeah. And now that you have the year. Squeak. There's the whistle. Surely the water's boiling by now. And there we go. Grab, 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 hurry. Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? He's <laughs> stuck! Killed by a mob... What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. Uh -oh. Oops. My newspapers! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let me... No! You've gotten my history out of order! Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Oh, get out! Get out! Hello, random car. Help! Police! I'm being attacked by hooligans! I'm sure the police would thank them. <laughs> now it's time to get back to the DeLorean. After this, load screen commercial break. <laughs> and we're back. Yeah, see, Mr. Fusion. Marty! Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? It doesn't matter what you pick. It's, uh, my uniform. Uh, didn't I tell you? I, uh, I got a job. At the Model T factory? Yeah. Uh, no, no. Never mind, you don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? I hope so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. Whoa. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. You ready to go, Einstein? At least the DeLorean thawed. Yeah. Time circuits? Ah, oh, flux capacitor. Uh, Fluxy. Okay, if Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931, I'll just show up the day before and get him out. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc. Oh dear. That didn't look good. Yeah, that last time departed bit never did work too well. Yeah. <laughs> the flame trails. Well, yeah.
future. Far <laughs> from the future. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sure that type of humor happens often in this game. It's a telltale game. Yeah. Einstein, where'd you go now, boy? Welcome to Hill Valley. Early 1900s. Hello, Edna. Young man? Excuse me, young man? Who? Uh, me? You're the only man in the street, and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction. Naturally, you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment. I read about it, yeah. What's your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years, namely, rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor? Uh... You can mark me down as a supporter, the young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. Do you have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets, no doubt plotting to corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin, and debauchery? This won't come back to bite Marty in the ass. Yeah, tell Actually, him, no. go ahead, make my day. Make your day what? <laughs> Never mind. I'll play around with it and see if I can come up with something better. Mr... May I get your name? Yeah, it's... Oh, joy. One of them is canon because it crosses over into the next games. Um... I think it's Michael Corleone. Harry Callahan. But there we go. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Callahan. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. Yeah. I know. I met you back. I mean, I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet! I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better... Oh! Einstein, no! Down, boy! Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before. What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times. It's the law. Look it up. Doc, I gotta find Doc. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for this episode. This is Man in the Black Hat. And Game Collector. And we'll see you next time for more Back to the Future of the Game on Gamers Embassy and YouTube. And, uh, we'll be doing even more with this. Later.